Let's go back to our data. This is the entire uh, data set we have here. And just to re be reminded, some Pokemon documents or Pokemon type documents don't have any Pokemon yet. And so the Pokemon key is null. Okay, we see this with both ice and water. Whereas ones like the Pokemon type bug does have an array of Pokemon and, and so forth. We see fighting has none and whatnot. So then when we come back to a query like this, you know, with a find and we say Pokemon key is null, that's equivalent. Pokemon weight is greater than or equal to 50. You know, when we run this, we expect we shouldn't see anything, right? Because literally, there could be no documents that are have a null key and something inside of that key being greater than or equal to 50. Really, what we would want to do is implement OR logic here. If we wanted to find where the Pokemon key is null or the weight inside the Pokemon key is greater than or equal to 50. OK, so again, I'm going to remind you that sometimes it's good to just look for the help on the particular operator itself, in this case, or with MongoDB, because sometimes having the template, because sometimes these are so syntax heavy, I'm going to copy that, or I'll just copy it myself. And I like to paste it in just above the query section or the restriction section so I can use the template to build my logic. And we see what we do is we start off with the OR operator on the key uh, for the query section. And then notice OR logic, and this makes sense to me, is just an array of conditions. And notice that each condition is wrapped in curly brackets. Okay, so if I was to modify this, then on this outer part, I would start with the operator. And again, just a reminder, put those operators in quotes. And then we'll open up, there's our key. And then what we want to do is start with the array. So basically, it'll be an array of many conditions. So I'll just put the closing array there. And then what we have is each expression is wrapped in curly brackets. So I'll nest that in curly brackets. That's one element in this array. And then we'll punch in the other condition here, like that. OK, and then our syntax should be fine here. We'll run that. And now we'll just test this out. And of course, there we see some that are null. And of course, if we do see a document that does have Pokemon data, then here we see this satisfied condition right here. The weight is greater than 50. So here we have, again, or logic.